YouTubers, Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin Channel. Guys, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to set your reminders tonight for Mike in the Night. Set your reminders for Mike in the Night tonight. Now, you, we've been discussing on the channel over time, over the last couple of years, about shipping and the cost of shipping. And wait, when the a Canadian dollar gets, gets strong and the U.S. dollar gets weak, hey, maybe we can import some stuff from the United States of America and get a deal off some of this stuff, right? Well, no. Look what's happening here. This is coming from... The mainstream media news, believe it or not, the CBC, after delivering homemade bread, FedEx charged this London, man, uh, London, Ontario man $48 in extra fees. Yes, so homemade bread. So F FedEx charge. What, what is FedEx charging? It's not FedEx. It's import charges. Now, uh, David Hicks wasn't home when a FedEx package was delivered last week before Christmas. It was a home-baked bread sent from his granddaughter who lives outside of Philadelphia. She paid delivery, but weeks later, Hicks got a bill from FedEx for $48.97 in extra charges, including $25.50 clearance entrance fee. It's all paying for the COVID relief. A London, Ontario man says FedEx shipped a 40, uh, with a $48 unexpected extra cost after receiving homemade bread, a gift from his granddaughter in the United States. That's it. She's doing the right thing. She's in the U.S. On December 19, Hicks, who was 80, and his wife arrived home to find a package at the doorstep. Uh, his granddaughter, who lives about an hour outside of Philadelphia and can't visit because of COVID, COVID restrictions, had sent him a homemade uh, Hanukkah bread. It, uh, it was round and about the size of a grapefruit, said Hicks. Uh, we were just delighted when we opened it and called her and thanked her, uh, he said. Uh, Hicks' granddaughter had sh uh, shipped the package FedEx to give the best chance of reaching uh, London, Ontario, of course, London, Ontario, before Christmas. All, well merry uh, all was merry until January the 8th. When Hicks received an invoice from FedEx for $48.97, despite the fact his granddaughter had already paid for shipping, the charges were broken down this way. Clearance entry fee, $25.50. That's Colby relief money. Uh, advancement fee, $10. That's going towards um, our hospitals. Uh, I don't think so. No, this is all Colby relief. HST and advanced and killery, I don't know, ancillary Service fees, $4.26. Canadian Harper sales tax, HST, eight eighty five. dollars Hicks was shocked, especially by the HST harmonized sales tax charges after this wasn't an item bought from a manufacturer or retailer. It was a piece of bread made by his grand and his granddaughter's kitchen. So there it is. So the charges are accurate. Loaf of bread. There it is. It was all filled out properly and everything. Because you know what it is, Canadians, a middle class Canadian. So here's the deal. They're prepping up. Now, let me explain to you what the prep up is for. If the Canadian dollar starts to fail, let's say we have a 50 cent dollar. Let's say the United States raises interest rates. Canada doesn't follow in suit. Canadian dollar will start to, 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 to fall to the U.S. dollar, right? And if it does, we could pick up stuff in the United States dirt cheap. I mean, we could pick up vehicles. We could pick up all kinds of stuff at pretty much... Uh, 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 at bar a bargain rates, I, I guess, if you want to say it that way. We could get stuff in at a better premium, a better price, uh, if, if our dollar starts to weaken. Or if our dollar gets stronger, vice versa. You know what I'm trying to say about that. So, if if you want to order something, or you want to get something, or you have funds in U.S. dollars already, a lot of people in Canada have uh, bank accounts and uh, savings accounts in U.S. dollars. And you want to switch it over, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, you want to order in stuff at a better deal. Uh, with a, uh, uh, a strengthening U.S. dollar. But it doesn't matter. Regardless of the fact of importing or exporting, it doesn't matter. Uh, imports will be dissuaded by, and now it's not, it's by the common folk. Big corporations under NAFTA don't pay this crap. It's the small businesses. I own a small business and I can tell you what I pay to ship anything in Canada. I want to ship something 200 miles away. You know what it costs me? 45 bucks, 35 bucks to ship a board game. OK, or I could ship the same board game to the same destination for Miami for half the price. But then you got to pay the importing charges in Canada. So Canadians, they're doing this to try and keep local business afloat. No, it's to keep the local corporations making their money here. So with 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 a, a, a Canadian dollar. So so with Canadians exporting with a weakening dollar, that's what I meant to say earlier. With Canadians exporting with a weakening dollar. They're going to make it hard for us, too, because I export a lot of stuff to the States. I make my Canadian dollar, but then 
if our dollar goes to 50 cents, it's worthless for us up here. Mind you, a house is, is $2.73 million now in Vancouver and surrounding area. It's, it's getting out of control. So the charge is being charged. I'm getting it on my gas bill. My cell phone's starting to show some weird pattern, weird pattern taxes. My gas bill. I read my gas bill on here. It's crazy. I have to pay storage fees for what? I have to pay transportation fees for what? The pipes are in the ground. I have to pay all this stuff just to have my gas sent to me. And I pay $35 for the gas. My bill is $400. And, there, and I have to pay $140 carbon tax. It doesn't end. So importing fees. There it is. $48 in extra fees. And the paperwork, if the paperwork wasn't filled right, there it is. Loaf of bread. And there it is. I, ca I can't believe it. I can't believe what's happening. Uh, this is gouging, he said. How many unsuspected Canadians are receiving FedEx invoices demanding further payments in addition to be uh, prepaid amount to the prepaid amounts? That's why I never deal cross border with FedEx because uh, they send you a bill two three months later. And that's why I don't deal with them personally when I import stuff in for my store. Anyways, guys, I look forward to reading what you guys have to say. With a weakening dollar in our exports, I meant to say earlier, our exports become more attractive to Americans. It's it, it's so expensive to ship in Canada. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I look forward to reading uh, what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching.